Hey, what's up my card collecting friends? This is the Southern Card Collector. Man, I just wanted to make a reaction video to the announcement of Freddie Freeman winning the National League MVP for 2020. Man, that's such, um, such an awesome season that he had. I know it was a short season, but uh, this is well-deserved. So this is just kind of coming from the gut. You know, Freddie Freeman has been one of my favorite players since he entered the league. Um, such a great guy, first of all. Um, you watch his interviews. You watch his interactions with his family. I mean, he's just kind of one of those guys that as a father, and I have young sons that are interested in baseball, he is – the kind of guy that I would love that, that they follow and kind of look up to in terms of the sport. Um, so just super happy for him. You know, Freddie's had such a great career. He's been in the league for 10 years. Uh, broke in in 2010, played 21 games uh, in, in, at the end of the season there. And then uh, had his first full season in 2011. So just, man, he's just had um, such a fantastic career so far. I hope it continues. He's, he stayed fairly healthy most of his career. Um, most seasons he's played over a hundred games. I don't think maybe one season other you know other than this year um, that I can recall him playing less than maybe 110 games. So just um, he's been marked as like Mr. Consistent, you know and 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 consistency is a, that's one thing that's so hard to do. you know guys have up and down years, uh, but he's just managed to be good every year. and I think that kind of hurt him a lot. Uh, he never just had this amazing season like a breakout season and then and then just kind of slump off for a while. It's just every year it's just so consistent. And I think maybe that did hurt him some in the voting in the past, but um, well-deserved, uh, such a great first baseman, uh, great hitter. You know, he's always uh, been really good, but having Ronald Acuna there in front of him, having Marcelo Zuna there, it allowed him to be able to, to have that protection that he really needed. I mean, he drew so many walks – over his career because guys would just pitch around him if he didn't have that protection. When I started collecting uh, cards again, when I got back into it in 2013, I wanted to pick somebody for the Braves that I thought would be there for a while, someone I could collect consistently. And as I looked through the roster, Freeman was the one that I thought, man, he just, he stood out. This is a guy I think will be with Atlanta for a while. You know, Jay Hay was there, Jason Hayward was there. Um, you know, Chipper had just retired, so um, I was looking for somebody I could get back into collecting, and I just I'm fortunate that I picked Freeman uh, as my guy. So, um, so just really happy for him. Happy for Braves fans. Well deserved. Uh, last uh, MVP was Chipper Jones, I think, in '99. And uh, if you see here, we got a, a card of Del Murphy out from from Five Star, a silver autograph, uh, silver signatures from Five Star. Murph was uh, had the honor of announcing Freddie as the MVP uh, tonight. So. Yes, that was great as well. Um, but so just to kind of run down a little bit, if you look at his rookie card, I like the, I like the blurb on the back. It says uh, Freeman's a natural righty in everything he does except swinging a bat. So his mom made sure that that happened. He was uh, playing t-ball. Coach tried to move him to the other side of the box. Mom pulled him off the field. That's awesome. And so uh, he made his debut in 2010, and uh, he was. Um, Major League's 11 days before his 21st birthday, so he entered the league at 21. Um, got his first hit on September the 5th uh, against uh, Clay Hensley of the Marlins, so September 5th, 2010. And then his first uh, Major League home run came on September 21st of 2010 uh, against the Phillies against the late, great Roy Holiday. So what a great way to start off your career. Um, you know, in 2011, he finished second in the Rookie of the Year voting behind Craig Kimbrell, his teammate. Um, he was an all-star in 2013 and 14, and then 2018 and 19. And he would have been an all-star this year had we had an all-star game. 2021, all-star game in Atlanta. Freeman will be there. I promise you that. Lord willing, he'll be there. Um but won a gold glove in 2018, uh, silver slugger last year in 19, this year in 20. And in terms of MP, MVP, in 2013, he finished fifth in voting. 16, he finished sixth. 18, he finished fourth. And 19, he finished eighth. And that, that's telling you something. He's there year in and year out um, among the great players in his league and in, in, in all of MLB. And then, of course, this year, 2020, he wins that MVP. So well-deserved. 
Um, over his career, he's over 1,500 hits, uh, 1,524. Uh, he's batting average is just just a little bit below 300. I, you know, I don't know if he'll be a 300 hitter his entire career uh, through his career, but uh, 295 at the end of this season, slugging 509. Uh, o OBP at 383, OPS at an 892. His 10-year average, an 162-game average, he averages 98 runs a season, 176 hits a season, 99 RBIs, 39 doubles. He's led the league in doubles and hits, I think, in like 2014, something like that, maybe even later. And But he averaged 80, he's averaged 80 walks. So, you know, he gets on base, and now that he has that protection, he was really able to display what he could do. I wish he would have finished out this year with the World Series. That would have been awesome. It would have been, it'd have been a great uh, finished, you know, with at the World Series and then the MVP on top of it. But the Braves are in a spot where they can, they have a shot at it. So, just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on this MVP, um, 2020, uh, 2020 MVP announcement. Um, I'm just happy I've been collecting him for a while. Uh, and I don't care what value these cards hold, whether they just skyrocket or they fall to, to absolutely nothing. This is why we collect. You know, I always say do it for the love of the hobby. That's why I enjoy this so much. Um, it just it brings you closer to the game. It kind of ties you back to when you were a kid. And so I so I just wanted to throw another card in the shot. This Gypsy Queen. Uh, this is a photo variation. Uh, early on in his career, Freeman was known for uh, coming back to the dugout and kind of giving guys a little a quick hug. Um, so that you live in the hug life was kind of the phrase that people use. So Freddie deserves a hug tonight. He deserves it. So, all right, guys, thanks for listening. And remember, like I said, if you're going to collect, do it for the love of the hobby.